What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to a whiff of this. This is where I check out new and old fragrances, I unbox them, give my first impressions, and after that, I smell them on skin and on paper. Today, I actually don't know what fragrance I'm gonna be smelling. It's either between Tierra de Hermes, or it's gonna be Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum. Uh, I literally don't know which one, because guess what? I literally have two boxes here, and I have like six other packages that I still have to unbox, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Now, obviously, y'all are gonna know by the title already, but you already know before me, so yeah. All right, let's see here. Dolce and Gabbana, the one. It does have a little nick here, but I don't think anyone's actually punctured it. Um, I think it honestly just ripped on a little hole right there. In fact, it ripped on both parts. So yeah, that just means it was really tighted down. As always, FragranceNet loves to give samples out. We're not gonna be doing any of that today. I'm getting straight to the fragrance. Oh, this thing has some weight to it, no lie. Now, again, like I said before, this is the Eau de Parfum, but this is the 3.4, 3.3 ounce. It still says 100 milliliters, so I guess anything between 3.4 and 3.3 still equals 100 milliliters in um, metric terms. Let's go ahead and open it up here. I really like the packaging. They had a Dolce Gabbana logo there. And then on top they have DG. On the back, nothing really crazy. And then on the bottom you have the barcode. So uh, let's check it out. I got mine's off of FragranceNet. Honestly, FragranceNet is really like the best place to go really for fragrances that are authentic and everything. They also have pretty much the quickest shipping, it seems like, because everyone else, Joma Shop, I have a YSL uh, La Nuit de L'Homme uh, EDP on the way, and they are taking forever. They're, it's already been like two weeks. Now, this fragrance retails for $143 at Sephora. It's still expensive. It was released in 2015, if I'm correct, and the base notes in here, or the top notes, are gonna be grapefruit, coriander, and basil. And then in the heart notes, you're gonna have orange blossom, ginger, cardamom, and in the base, you got that tobacco, amber, and cedar wood straight off of basenotes.com. I've actually smelled this fragrance twice now, one in Kohl's, um, a long time ago in Kohl's. I think it was sitting out for a long time. It was literally about to be out. It was almost empty. Um, that's how I knew. I was like, well, I gotta grab this sooner or later. The other place I actually checked it out at was a couple weeks ago, which was Sephora. And that's why I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy this one. Um, the price isn't too crazy. And I was like, you know what? This is a good deal. So I am gonna spray this on paper first and then I'm gonna spray it on skin. I kind of know how it smells on paper, but let me go ahead and unbox it really quick so y'all can see the bottle. I'm so happy to finally have this one, honestly. Okay, the bottle is kind of hard to get out. Why'd they do it like that? <laughs> That's weird. Ew. Oh my gosh. That bottle looks beautiful. Oh man. Hold on, let me turn it around for y'all. That looks incredible. Dose in Gabbana, the one EDP. The bottle is amazing. I really like the bottle. It looks really cool. Um, it is very heavy. Surprisingly, this one has some heft to it. So whatever glass they use, it's pretty heavy. The top is not heavy like Parfums de Marley. It's the bottle itself that's heavy. Let's see how many sprays it takes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So nobody sprayed it. That's a good thing. It's brand new. I can already smell it. It smells really good. Jeez Louise. Mm, 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 mm. Dang, that's good, yo. I'll try to do a street review with this one for sure, and I might do it against S-Boy by Draco. You see it in the cut in the background over here, um, but that one actually won the last battle, so check out that video. I have it in the link description below. I gotta say, in the air, this is just, this smells so good in the air right now. On paper, you don't get too much on paper, honestly. I gotta say, I think I'm getting a lot of, in the air, you can smell those woodier notes. You can smell like that amber and like the tobacco. On paper, it's definitely fresher. Now I'm only gonna spray this on one arm because I actually have to check out another fragrance right after this. So yeah, we're gonna spray it on this arm. Let it aerate really quick, let it aerate. Fist pump, shout out to the Adidas Fit. You already know what it is. Mmm, yeah. Oh yeah, the grapefruit is coming in. The grapefruit is coming in very heavy on my skin. Um, it's really nice though, very nice. The cap is also nice. I'm afraid to kind of play around with this one. I feel like if I use this a lot, um, it may actually come off, but it does seem like it's staying so far. Overall, like I said, I love the way the bottle looks, but I also really love the way it smells. 
Only problem is that it just doesn't last long. Man, that smells amazing. I get a bunch of citrus notes on the opening. That is beautiful. The grapefruit and the orange is coming in very heavy. I do get the woodier notes like the cedar wood. Uh, as far as what else is in here, they say tobacco, uh, cardamom. Yeah, the cardamom's there, but like I said, I definitely don't smell basil, ginger, or uh, what else? Coriander, maybe I just don't know what coriander smells like but that could be like the plant quality to it. Considering what the weather is supposed to be, I definitely want to give this a shot, especially in warmer weather, because they do say you can pretty much wear this one year round. If I had to rate it though on a scale of one to 10 at 10 being the highest, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. There is a possibility that it could go higher the more I wear it. I'll definitely have to give it some wearings for sure though in the future, but I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Let me know which fragrance you want me to check out next. And until next time, peace out.